If you're looking for Mutt Coins to upgrade your Mutt game, go to GameRusher.com for cheap and safe Mutt Coins. You can use my discount code HUB at the website. Use the first link in the description down below and get that upgrade to your game. What's up Giants fans, Hub Watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's your boy Kush back at it again with another Giants video. First and foremost, yo, thank you all. Uh, all of y'all that wish me a happy birthday already. Some of y'all did it like last night, like at 12 o'clock on the dot, 12.01 at the latest. Got an absolute barrage of y'all on Twitter. Thank you so much. Shout out to Kid Blue. He sent a raid my way. Yesterday was his birthday, and then he sent a raid over <laughs> to me on Twitter. That was amazing, y'all. Thank you. Um, so let's get that out of the way. And don't don't forget that tonight will be a call-in show. Now, there's going to be a slightly altered call-in show because of recent trolling. But it will be a call-in show, so definitely pull up, you know, get your thoughts in there. I definitely like to talk to a lot of you guys. The first couple times we did it, it was successful. So I'm going to go a third week and see how it goes. Don't forget about that. And, well, let's get into the video. I want to talk about Wayne Gallman a little bit and how he's been great for the Giants and he's been exactly what we needed. Wayne Gallman right now is of course our feature back. It took a lot for him to become that. It took Saquon going down with his ACL injury and being out for the year. It took us bringing in Devontae Freeman, Devontae coming in and being an okay at best running back and then Devontae going out week six at the Eagles and that's when Wayne Gallman finally stepped in. Wayne was always the third option it seemed on the Giants, it took so much for the coaches to have to put him in. He made an impact in the Eagles game and has been improving ever since. Gallman has been the best running back this year for the New York Giants. You know, he's currently on a five game streak of having at least one touchdown, one rushing touchdown in the games. And that's five week stretch goes back to when he first burst on the scene with the Eagles. You know, just a quick little stat check for you guys at the Eagles on the 22nd he had 10 carries for 34 yards and a touchdown then at the buccaneers 12 carries 44 and a touchdown at washington 14 for 68 and a touchdown at the eagles 18 for 53 and two touchdowns and then at the Bengals, which i think is his best not only statistical game but his the game where he just looked the best um 24 carries for 94 yards and a touchdown just six yards short of having his first 100 yard game i believe just just right there man and gallman like I said, has been the best back for the Giants this year. He's been exactly what we needed. He's been the best north and south running back, uphill, downhill, whatever you want to define it. He's been the best running back for us in years that just runs up the middle and gets tough, dirty yards. Wayne Gallman is a bruiser back and against the Bengals, <laughs> I said it on the stream, I said it in my reaction video, I was amazed at how strong this dude is. Like He's a small dude, he's not even built like a running back, you know what I'm saying? He's built like a wide receiver or something, he's only 6 foot tall man, he doesn't even weigh that much, I think he's like 210 or something, or maybe even 209, like he's a small back, but he's, he's like extremely strong man, he was carrying dudes, he got stabbed, stabbed, I almost said stabbed, I meant to say stopped. Anyway, he got stopped on multiple of his runs against Cincinnati and kept churning and got like three or four yards extra by carrying a pile of people. Wayne Goldman is the bruiser back that the Giants needed. He reminds me of Brandon Jacobs and even Ahmad Bradshaw in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Bradshaw was known as the agile guy, but Bradshaw run hard ran hard as well he could carry a few dudes if he wanted to that's who Wayne Gallman reminds me of and like I said he's the back we needed he's the best back this year without a doubt but let's not let us let that blind us to say that he's the back that's gonna replace Saquon Barkley I'm gonna turn the clock back to I want to say March of this year right March April this year I know at the very least myself had this thought process and a couple of my supporters as well and a lot of people in the Giants community going into the draft and the offseason one of the things we wanted, it wasn't a priority, but one of the things we really wanted for the sake of Saquon Barkley was for the Giants to get a bruiser running back. We wanted somebody that could come in on third down situations, get tough yards, or even somebody on a couple first down situations to just start off the drive with a nice straight run up the middle. Somebody that could take hits off of Saquon and take snaps off of Saquon, help extend this dude's life a little bit, help extend his career with us a little bit, and just to have a little bit more of a diverse running game. A lot of us wanted that going into the draft, a bruiser back. 
none of us thought it would come out of Wayne Gallman, but that's what's happening. Wayne Gallman is what we asked for, right? Um, I, I want to put that there because people are now acting, or you know, at least some fans now have the opinion that he is the main back of the future. He should be the guy we rely on in the future. He should be the only, you know, the feature running back going into the future. And in my opinion, that's just not the case. He should be what we wanted earlier this year. And he's doing a fantastic job of being the main running back now. And uh, don't don't sleep on the fact that since he's coming from the Eagles to now is also a great correlation to the improvement in the offensive line from the Eagles to now. That has a lot to do with it as well. Like I said, I'm not taking away from what Gallman has done, but he fits the perfect role for to be in that two back rotation with Saquon. He is what we want. He is that back that will take snaps off him. Definitely take hits off him. Gallman has proven that he can take in the hits this year. I think he's shown that he he's that perfect, you know, perfect fire to Saquon's ice and whatnot. And that's going to be a great rotation for the future. Let's not forget also, and once again, I'm not taking away from Gallman here, but this is his fourth year in the league. His first three weren't too hot. And uh, to be fair, 2017 was really the only year he got a chance. Because when we drafted him in 2017, he was supposed to be that guy. He finished that year with 111 attempts, 476 yards, zero touchdowns. And then the receiving game, 34 receptions, 193 yards, one touchdown. In 2018, of course, when we, was when we took Saquon. He only finished with 51 attempts, 176 yards, one touchdown. And then receiving-wise, 14 receptions, 89 yards, zero touchdowns. 2019 last year, Saquon was out a little bit, but then we also brought in this guy named Javarius Buck Allen, who had a good amount of carries. 29 attempts, 110 yards, two touchdowns. Receiving game, 11 attempts, 102 yards, uh, one touchdown. This year, he's already on pace to be his best year ever, and it's because he's been so heavily featured since that week seven, I want to say, or week six Eagles game, whenever we played them in prime time. So that definitely has a lot to do with it. Don't cut out the fact that also Burton Burns, our new running back coach, has a lot to do with Gallman's improvement. Burton Burns is <laughs> the best running back in college football. Ch coached up guys like, you know, Mark Ingram, Derrick Henry, Alabama running backs that are doing well in the NFL right now. Derrick Henry possibly being the best running back in the NFL. Those are just two names. Don't forget guys like Kenyon Drake, TJ Yeldon, uh, who, you know, obviously is not what he was, I think, you know, when he was in that Jacksonville and um, Josh Jacobs just from last year. Burton Burns has a lot to do with, I believe, and he's not getting enough credit with the, just the skyrocketing Gallman's performance. And all of this just adds up to say, why can't that happen with Saquon, who I think we all know is the better running back overall. Wayne Gallman is the better running back when it comes north to south. And once again, I think he will fit that perfect role of being that rotational piece with Saquon. I'm saying rotate them both next year. Use Gallman the way you've used them this year in terms of carries and in terms of the situations you've been using him and use Saquon for those outside home run hitters and as the main back. Saquon still is the better running back out of these two. Burton Burns can make, oh my God, he can make magic with them, man. He can make absolutely just, just beautiful magic with these dudes right here. And I know, I know one thing that a lot of people are worried about is Saquon's contract. All I got to say to that is don't think too far ahead. We, we have him on for five years, the four years on the rookie deal and the fifth year extension. You know what I'm saying? The fifth year option. If we're going to extend the dude like Evan Ingram that's inconsistent as he is, why won't we extend Saquon? And then if we're going to ex extend somebody like Jabril Peppers, who's out absolutely outstanding on the defensive end, why won't we do the same for Saquon? We have him on the team for at least five years. You know what I'm saying? He's only three of those five are done. Yes. But for the next two, we got him. What's not to say we could extend him as well. Now, I'm not paying him and I want to get that out there as well. So people don't misconstrue my words. I'm not paying him 18, 20 million dollars. I, I think it's been disproven at this point that no running back deserves that amount of money. They just don't last. They're just not worth the money. Um, And, and Gallman is also, you know, another argument against that that would work. But for the next two years, keep Saquon and Gallman together, man. They have a good relationship together as well. You know, and Saquon was just on Good Morning Football this morning saying how happy he was to see his guys succeed. Like, why can't we be the same? Let's be happy that we're having success with Wayne Gallman, another homegrown kid. Let's be happy that we're finding diamonds in the rough in this team, that this team is learning how to win without Saquon. That doesn't mean that they don't need him, though, and that they will always be successful without him. Don't, don't, don't get those two things misconstrued. All it's boating is a really, really bright future for the Giants next year, man. And I am supremely excited about that. Live in the moment, but don't get blinded by the moment. 
you know what I mean? But put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. I'm not sure how this is going to be, you know, taken by you guys. I'm not sure what the response is going to be. So I'm definitely kind of excited to read those. Don't forget about the stream tonight. That's it for now. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.